I'm back. <laughs> it's time for math. And today we are going to talk about making equal parts. So we are going to talk about fractions. I love doing this unit at the end of the year. Um, can you think of foods that you get that are cut into equal parts? Have any of you ever ordered a pizza? When you order a pizza, they're pretty close to equal parts. Every once in a while, I get one that's got a big piece and a little piece, and I'm like, hmm, wonder what happened. But normally, they divide them into equal parts. Have you ever eaten a Hershey bar? Mmm. Hershey bars have those, those little rectangles um, that they're divided into. And that's what we're going to be working with. Okay? So, open up. This is 19-1. Open it right up to the middle. And it says, shapes can be divided into parts. Sometimes the parts are equal. So if you look at this circle that's been divided into one, two, three, four parts, those parts are exactly the same size and shape, okay? But then look at this circle. Well, you can clearly see that every one of those pieces is a different size, right? If you put them on top of another piece, they would not match. They're not the same size and shape. So it says, which shows two equal parts? Well, this one has two, two parts, and this one has two parts, but this is the only one that has equal parts. And how many equal parts does it have? Two. One, two. Okay? Which shows four equal parts? Well, that one only has two parts, so it can't be that one. But this one you can clearly see one, two, three, four. Those are four equal parts, okay? So let's look at our guided practice. If you hear a lot of banging in my house, I apologize. Our air conditioning um, broke and they're here today to fix it. So if you hear a lot of banging, that's them going up and down the stairs, I'm sorry. Does the picture show equal parts? Remember, equal means the same size and shape, exactly equal. Circle, yes or no. So let's look. Are these parts equal? Yes or no? Yes. How about these? Does this show equal parts? No. That piece is way bigger than that one. That one's bigger than that one. That one's the biggest of all. How about number three? Do those show equal parts? Yes. Go ahead and circle yes. How about this one? It's probably hard for you to see on the video. It's um, because it's yellow, but on your paper, you can clearly see that one side is much bigger than the other. So this is no. How about number five? I see three pieces. But are they the same? No. Okay, how about number six? Are those pieces, I see two pieces. Are they exactly the same size? Yes. That is divided exactly in half. How about this one? Does this shape have equal parts? Yes or no? They actually are equal. They are equal. If you cut this piece, if you cut this one, you would have to flip it over, but then it would make exactly that. So yes, they are exactly equal. All right. So now it says, write how many equal parts the shape has. If the parts are not equal, write zero. How many equal parts? Zero. Okay. So let's look at number seven. How many equal parts do you see? Write the number on the line. Did you write two? If you did, you did it correctly. How about number eight? How many equal parts do you see? Do 
I hope you said three. One, two, three. Those are three equal parts. How about number nine? How many equal parts do you see? Go ahead and write it. Well, I see three parts, but none of them are equal. So that gets an, a zero. Okay. How about number 10? How many equal parts do you see? Here we had one, two. Here we have one, two. Two equal parts. Ooh, triangles. How many equal parts do you see? Take a good look at this. You can do this. You should see one, two, three, four. This one in the middle is just upside down, but I flipped it over, it's exactly the same. So there are four equal parts. How about number 12? How many equal parts do you see? One, two, three, you should say three. Okay, do these shapes both show equal parts? Yes or no? So let's look at each one. Are all four of these equal? Yes. Are all four of these equal? Yes. They both show equal parts. Circle yes. Yeah. Remember, if at any time I get ahead of you, feel free to pause the video and catch up. Okay? So let's go to the back. It says, Matt wants a flag that has four equal parts. Which flag should he take? Circle the correct flag. So you're going to circle either the red flag or the green flag. Which one shows four equal parts? Go ahead and circle. Did you circle the red flag? If you did, you are you did a great job. Okay. Number 15. Ruth picks a flag that has three equal parts. Which flag did she take? Circle the correct flag. Go ahead and do that. All set? Did you circle the yellow one? If you did, great job. And you can see that each of the red squares is exactly the same size. But the one over here, well, you can see all four of them are different size. These three pieces of this flag are exactly the same. This one does have three pieces, but they're all different sizes. Number 16, which shape shows equal parts? Fill in A, B, C, or D. Which one has divided the circle into equal parts? Mark your answer. Did you choose C? If you did, great job. All right, number 17. Four children want to share a pizza. Draw a picture that shows how each of them can have an equal part. So we're going to pick a round pizza. Go ahead and divide that into four. Four equal pieces. My circle is not really very round and I apologize. But if you go straight down, straight across, you'll have about equal pieces. Okay? Now I want you to flip over to the front. I know, we're doing it backwards today. I 
want you to divide, I want you to follow the directions. So this says, divide this square into two equal parts. Go ahead and do that. Now divide this one into two not equal parts. So for each one, you're just drawing one line. This one will show equal parts. This one will not show equal parts. Do the same thing down here. This one does show equal parts. This one does not show equal parts. Okay. So remember, if you have a square, So you could divide it a bunch of different ways. You could go across the middle, that's two equal parts. You could go straight down the middle this way. So you could go across or down, right? Or you could go corner to corner. And of course, you could also go corner corner. So any of those four would show you two equal parts of a square. Now for a circle, oh, you could do the same thing right down the middle, right across the middle, or diagonally, making sure that you're equal. just so that your two sides are the same size and shape, okay? Great job. Remember, today we're working on making equal parts. So your homework today is pages 215 and 216, and I asked you to send me a picture of page 216, okay? I will see you later for science. Bye-bye. Get that math done.